Hello! In this lesson, you will learn about mammals. What are mammals? How do I identify mammals? What makes an animal a mammal? You should be able to answer all of those questions after you watch this video. So this is Unit 4, Animal Classification. Lesson 5, Mammals. Here we see picture, a picture of two lions. Hmm, what does that have to do with this lesson? Let's read on to find out more. Okay, the next group of animals you're going to study is the group called mammals. So in previous lessons, we learned about birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians. By the way, do you remember what a reptile is? What kind of animal is a reptile? What kind of animal is an amphibian? If you know the answer to those questions, put a comment in the comment section down below. Okay. You can also put examples of reptiles or amphibians in the comment section. All right, so let's move on. There are many different kinds of mammals. Mammals are the animals you are probably the most familiar with. In fact, many pets are mammals. Cats, dogs, hamsters, guinea pigs, and mice are all mammals. Do you have a mammal for a pet? What makes a mammal a mammal? Well, let's find out. Have you ever wondered what kind of animal you are? Yes, you, whoever is watching this video. <laughs> you are a human. And humans are mammals. What are the things that scientists look for when deciding whether or not an animal is a mammal? There are several things to look for, and all of them apply to you too. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> One thing to notice is that mammals are very often covered in hair or fur. So think about yourself. Do you have hair? Yes. Okay. So you can put a check mark on that for mammals. Male lions have enormous furry manes, as you can see in this photo. A shaggy dog can be really shaggy. What else has fur? A bat, a rat, a moose on the loose, but not a goose and not a spruce, a shrew, a gnu, a kangaroo or two, and so do you. Your fur is your hair, right up there on your head. Can you name some more things that have fur? So let's look, let's take a look at a shaggy dog, just to give you an idea. Or actually, never mind, just, just, you get the idea from, you know, animals that have fur are um, generally mammals, but birds, like uh, geese, and you know, any kind of bird, they're not mammals. And the things that look like fur on their bodies are actually feathers. So, yeah. Mammals also breastfeed their young. That means when mammals are babies, they drink their mother's milk. You may have seen a mother cat feeding her kittens this way, or a dog her puppies. But it's also true of cows, raccoons, and squirrels, and of moles and voles. Mammals breathe air. They are different from fish. Mammal babies aren't born in eggs. They are different from birds. Even if mammals happen to live in the water, they are still mammals. Whales live in the ocean, but they still breathe air. They have to take deep breaths before swimming underwater. A whale is no fish, it's a mammal. Even if mammals happen to fly, they are still mammals. A bat has wings and can flap around. But baby bats are born. They don't hatch from eggs. 
A bat is no bird. It is a mammal. Mammal fur comes in all colors and textures. Some fur is fluffy and soft, like a rabbit's. Other mammal hair is wiry, like the hair on an elephant or rhinoceros. Now, I want you to compare the feel of the fake fur, or maybe your um, pet's fur, or your stuffy's fur, to feel to the feel of your own hair. Okay, once you've done that, I want to remind you that mammals don't lay eggs the way many of the other animal groups do. Do you remember what animal groups uh, lay eggs? I'll give you a hint. They're some of the animal groups we've studied in the past. Let's look at the answer. Birds lay eggs. Amphibians lay eggs. Reptiles lay eggs. Insects lay eggs. And even spiders lay eggs. Now, mammals are born live. Whales, for example, have their babies right in the water. Mammals do something else that other animal groups don't. A mammal mother's body makes milk to feed her babies. When a baby mammal drinks its mother's milk, it's called nursing. Okay, so in your activity sheet, which uh, you'll be uh, working on, um, you will find the mammals that are nursing, okay? So identify which mammals are, not this one, not this one either, okay. Yeah, on this activity sheet, you will try to identify which animals are nursing. So I can give you a hint, or actually, let's look at it together. Doesn't look like this one is, not this one either, but Cat and kittens? Yes. Um, humpback whale? No. Elephant? No. Cow and calf? Yes. Okay. Okay, now it's time for you to do an activity in your science, K-12 science activity book. So once you click on this link, it's gonna bring you to this page. Now you can do this online or um, do it in your K-12 science activity book. Um, yeah, it's basically the same page, same activity. Um, so let's remind ourselves what mammals are to figure out whether an animal is a mammal or not. So mammals generally have hair or fur on their bodies, just like humans do. Humans have hair, mammals have hair. A mammal's fur doesn't always cover its whole body, and some mammals don't have fur their whole lives. Still, they all have some hair at one time or another, even whales. Can you imagine a hairy whale? It's true. Whales are mammals too, and they have a small amount of hair when they are born. When they grow up, most have hardly any hair at all. But every mammal has some hair at some time. Now, you're going to, either in your activity book or online, complete the mammal sheet to find a mammal that has a lot of fur and one that or one that has very little fur. Okay, so yeah, just um, identify which ones are mammals or which mammals have a lot of fur and which mammals have less fur. And just to wrap up the lesson, I wanted to show you a shaggy dog as I was talking about previously in the lesson. Here's an image of a shaggy dog. As you can see, he is covered all over 
with fur, so he's definitely a mammal, right? Dogs are mammals. Here's a cuter picture. Okay, let's take a look at another animal. And I'll ask you, just by looking at this image, can you guess whether or not this is a mammal, this animal? And bonus points to whoever can identify the name of this animal. Okay, so comment down below in the comment section and I will respond to your comment if you get the right answer. Okay, now let's look at birds. You might be wondering, aren't birds mammals? Don't they have like fur-like things over here? Um, I know they look like fur, but they're not really fur. Birds have feathers, as you can see here. Birds have feathers, they're not fur. <laughs> so birds aren't mammals. Another thing is that birds lay eggs. They lay eggs, so they're not mammals. Generally, mammals do not lay eggs. I say generally because there is an animal called a platypus, and as you can see, this animal has fur all over, but uh, it also lays eggs, okay? Still, a platypus is classified as a mammal, okay? So it has fur, fur all over, and um, it's actually an exception. Yeah. Okay, now let's take a look at this cute picture right here. As you can see, mammals, they have young. Um, Mammals generally don't lay eggs, unlike platypuses. Platypuses are an exception. They they lay eggs, but they're also a mammal. But this is one that you'll have to remember. You'll have to memorize. But generally, mammals do not lay eggs. A platypus is the is a rare uh, case where um, an animal with fur lays eggs. Okay, that's also a mammal. But generally. Mammals don't lay eggs. Uh, they give birth to live young, such as this mom cat with her little kittens. So I thought you would enjoy this cute, adorable picture right here. And with that, it's the end of the science lesson. If you've watched this video and answered the questions that I asked you throughout the lesson, you can go ahead and mark your science lesson unit 4, lesson 5, mammals, you can mark it off complete on your K-12 OLS. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!